This is COIN Local 6 News at 4. Now at four, back on the move. Occupy Portland marches through the wind and the rain. Their goal to take on corporate greed and a political process they say is broken. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amy Troy. And I'm Jeff Gianola. Occupy Portland came up with this idea of a leap day demonstration. It has America spread to at least 70 other cities across the country. This is Ustream video, a mobile webcam video. You're looking at it live as they gather outside. A bank of America in downtown Portland. You know, protesters have been making stops at banks and businesses all day. So far, no violence, but we do know at least two people have been arrested. Our reporter, Casey Montoya, begins our coverage of the local six headlines in downtown Portland. We're on Southwest 5th near Columbia Street, and protesters are circling the Wells Fargo building. Now, they're here today protesting ALEG. This is one of the companies they say is involved with that. They were in front of the building on 4th Street, causing quite a ruckus over there. But as you'll notice, there are a lot of police around. There are police following them. And take a look over this way. I'll show you the police riot truck, not far behind all the protesters. Now, we started out with about 200 to 250 protesters. This has dwindled down to about 100 right now, maybe a little bit more. The weather seems to be holding up right now, but Portland police think that's the reason why this march was not much bigger. We're going to continue to follow them, and we'll bring you more updates coming up at 5. Reporting for you in downtown Portland, Casey Montoya, Quinn Local 6. Casey, thank you. Self-proclaimed anti-capitalists have claimed responsibility for some major damage at two banks and a Starbucks overnight. They say it was in preparation for the big march and the protest today. Key Bank, U.S. Bank, and a Starbucks on Cesar Chavez Boulevard were vandalized. Police say the vandals used rocks to break the glass. This morning, crews spent hours boarding up all the busted doors and windows before the businesses opened. And